So the first step to correct your status would be, I would create something called a non-taxpayer affidavit or even something called um, political status correction. Name, correct your name for the record. You, When your name was created on a birth certificate, they think they own this. So you have to learn how to create it in a private trust. The social security number is a trust. If you look it up, Social Security Trust Administration. It's a public administration. You have to learn how to create your private administration. So you can start with a church or even um, a tribe. You can correct your status with a tribe, a church. Um, it's called the Shahada with Muslims. I'm not sure what it's called with Jewish people, but they all undergo a status change. In the Christian community, it's called being baptized. So your baptismal certificate can be also correct your status, and you can use this um, to identify in the public. Everybody go to OnlyFans.com slash Don Kalam. That's OnlyFans.com slash Don Kalam. That's D-O-N-K-I-L-A-M. You can subscribe there and get access to Don Kalam University at DonKalam.com. You can also follow me on the Instagram at D-O-N underscore K-I-L-A-M. Again, that's D-O-N underscore K-I-L-A-M. Much peace and love. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. You're now rocking to the sounds and vibrations of your boy, Don Kalam. Also known as Malik Kalam. And as always, prosperity is your divine birthright. Peace and love, everybody. Hope everybody's feeling great. My check, my check. Sound check is good. It's your boy Don Kalam. You know the host of Dream Keepers Radio. Tap in and tune in. We're getting things back underway. Working at the studio. But right now, I have a message for everybody. I have a message. Yes. We don't use that prop. We don't use that prop mic. All right. That's one of them. Put that back in. I'm put that back in. Peace and love. As always, I'm not a licensed attorney or tax expert. I do this for education on er- educational and informational purposes only. We got two envelopes. Let's go, man. We today was a great day. Today was a great day. Can't even count it all. I can't even get it all to me. You know, most definitely looking for trustees. So reach out, looking to work with people, one-on-one trustees, get a piece of this pie too, working on courses. But listen, check this out. March 23rd, all my Instagram subscribers, all my OnlyFans subscribers, you can meet with me March 23rd. We're having a televised event March 23rd. It's going to be huge. First come, first serve. Um, There is a a charge for VIP tickets, a, a upcharge for VIP next day lunch. But hey, come in. It's 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 open to all my private members that signed up on Don Kalam University on the OnlyFans and all the inst- the private Instagram subscribers that pay the monthly fee on Instagram. Just reach out to me. Got to have that purple that purple box. Got to have that purple box. All right. Got to have that purple box next to your name. Um. But other than that, if you wanna if you wanna come, um, I the public is more than welcome to come. I'm asking for $25. That's it. That's it. But literally, it's going to be a huge televised event. I'm 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 proud of this event. I can't believe it's happening. Miracles come true every day. Um, great things are happening. And great things are in store for the private members, everybody at Don Kalam University. Um, you can join Don Kalam University by going to OnlyFans Don Kalam. Nothing explicit. Nothing X-rated. Go there to learn the game. Go there to learn the sauce. Um, we're working towards um, 200 members right now. Um, within the first week, um, we had over 111 members sign up. So thanks, everybody, for the support. Um, we're in the top 3% of top of OnlyFans, and we're not even selling booty. So you dig what I'm saying? Round of applause for that. But I want to go over some game. I want to go over some game right now. Take notes. Because if you're watching this in the public, take notes. This is not going to be in the public for long. But the information is out there. 
Information is out there. Y'all seeing me playing. Y'all seeing me iced out. Yeah. Yeah. I was in Atlanta and everybody was amazed. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How much did you pay for that watch? You know? The church bought it for me. Much peace and love. Much peace and love. Got to tell time, right? That's a business expense. Now, got to show up to work on time, right? So a watch, alarm clock, all of that, that's a business expense. Make the business pay for it. I'm on God's time now, you know? Yeah. I like how I look in the light. Love it. So I don't know, you know, I'm not affiliated with the Bureau of Bullies, Brother Umar. You know, great, great people. You know, I've worked with a lot of his students and people, mentors. We've all crossed paths in this industry, right? So literally, um, when they came across this information um, years and years ago, I heard of it, had an attorney seen the things, right? Um, seen the things happen with my own eyes. They're getting paid from um, from the credit, the credit agencies. So I didn't start implementing it till about 2021, end of 2021, 2022. I got my own process. And, and, and now I'm bringing it to the public. Now I'm going to bring it to the public. I'm going to bring some, um, I'm going to make an ebook over this and a course as well for my members, probably February, probably released in February, sometime like that. All right. I got animated courses on the way. You're going into January, going into February. This is the time that you're going to want to join. Don Kalam University is only $25 a month. You know, I have people pay me $10,000, $20,000. Yesterday, somebody um, I'm working on their issues, they just paid me $5,500, you know? Um, I, a lot of different, I've worked with celebrities. So listen, this is your chance to connect with me. Don Kalam University, $25 a month. Go to OnlyFans.com slash Don Kalam. The link is in the bio on the Instagram. You can reach me on the Instagram at D-O-N underscore K-I-L-A-M. Again, that's D-O-N underscore K-I-L-A-M. Now, what I want everybody to do is do a simple Google search of the addresses of the three credit reporting agencies. And the reason why I'm calling them agencies is because they're not credit bureaus. The only credit bureau is the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Bureaus work for the government. And if you look at any of these websites... The CFPB has .gov at the end of the name, .gov. So with that being stated, it's part of the government facility and it's a true bureau. So when it comes to Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, these are credit reporting agencies. They are .com. Anybody can be a credit reporting agency, even you. So these are the main three. You are the credit reporting agency to be truthful and honest with you. All right. So you got to stop going in as a debtor and going in as a creditor. I'm I'm, I'm gonna teach you these things, okay? But today I'm gonna show y'all how to get paid. <laughs> so just do a simple Google search of the three credit reporting agencies. Now, when you do this Google search, this is where I want your few, first dispute letter to go. Everybody has their own methods. This is Don Kalam's method, and this is what brings Don Kalam them dollars. This is what brings Don Kalam them checks, okay? Bring some checks in the mail. And, 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 and cash is still king, baby. Don't believe the hype. Cash is still king. If you had this in your hand right now, you would be, you would, you would love that, right? If someone just handed you, this is like six thousand right here. I got another seven right here. So if someone would just hand you thirteen thousand, when you love that. I want you to know they are, okay? They're, they are. I, I, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you the game. I'm going to teach you the game. All right? Now, if you don't like the way I move, log out now, okay? Go ahead and sign out now. But if you're rocking with me right now, you're rocking with Don Kalam, let me get some fire emojis in the chat. If you're watching right now on the live. Watch on the replay. Let me know what city you tapped in and tuned in from. Get some fire emojis and let me know what city you tapped in and tuned in from. I'm telling you, you, you can go from zero to hero in no time. Now, so I want y'all to know it's up to you. It ain't shit, you know, excuse my language. It's nothing to get 13, 10,000. 
5,000, 2,000, 3,000. Now, how are you going to 10X it? How are you going to turn 2,000 into 20,000? You know? So that's going to be your next move. Because, But I'm going to show y'all how to get a few a few ducats. I call these ducats. I'm going to show y'all how to get a few dollar bills, man. We got the 707 in the building. Columbus, Ohio in the building. We got Hawaii in the building. North Decatur. Shout out to the ATL. San Antonio in the building. You know, we got Texas deep in here. Coco, I, I'm guessing that's Florida. Coco Beach, Florida. You know, I'm in. I'm. I'm. I'm live from Orlando right now. Shout out to El Paso, Texas. Hasn't been there. They don't like it when you're smoking weed in El Paso, London, England. Shout out to the UK, man. We got the DMV in the building. Dallas in the building. Texas is always deep, man. The 910. We got Minnesota in the building. We got Raleigh, North Carolina in the building. We got Maui in the building. Nashville, Tennessee. Shout out to Nashville, Tennessee. Northern Cali in the building. Piro Santo. Don't even know where that's at, but shout out to Piro Santo. You dig? Lake Wells. Shout out to Polk County, man. Don't play around in Polk County, though. Shout out to Oklahoma. Shout out to the Show Me State, representing the STL representative right here. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Cali, man. Shout out to Detroit, Northern Cali. Let's get back to the message, man. I got to get back to the message, man. And if you put this on the light, y'all see the strips glowing, man. Y'all see the strips glowing, man. These real deal ducats, okay? Real deal dollar bills. These are all hundreds, man. You find it, you find a 20, you can have the stack. You find a 20, you can have the stack. Now listen, check me out. So I taught everybody to Google the three credit reporting agency addresses and let me know what shows up. Just give me one address. Give me one address. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to say what popped up for me is P.O. Box 740256, Atlanta, Georgia, for Equifax. All right. Now, so everybody knows this is the public information where they tell you to send your disputes. All right. And that's fine. You want to do this. You want to do this first. Want to do a regular dispute by mail. I do it by mail. All right. Now, if you, it doesn't matter if you get denied what they do. Okay. But if they take it off, it's a mission. So that's a thousand dollars right there. If they take it off for inaccuracy, because the, the, the main thing is you want to, you want to dispute here when you're doing this is inaccuracies. You don't want to, don't want to state law. You don't want to talk about codes and statutes too much. It's in your inaccuracies. So you can dispute the inaccuracy inaccuracy at any time. I don't care how many times you did a regular dispute. Okay. Someone said Experian is in Texas. Okay. And that's what I got. I got Experian, the P.O. Box 400, 4500 Allen, Texas. And then um, let's see where it has TransUnion. And they even teach credit companies this. TransUnion's Chester, Pennsylvania, P.O. Box 2000. So this is, this right here, this is a million dollars worth of game now. This right here is the public information. This is what they, if you was become a, I'm a certified credit um, consultant. So this is what they teach us too. And they give us a few other side addresses, okay? Now, now. So like I said, do the regular dispute, okay? Now, they take it off, that's good. Now I'm going to show y'all how to get y'all's money. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all how to get y'all's money. You, you can, I would send this right away. I send two disputes at once. That's how I do it. So while you're sending that dispute letter to them, you send another letter. Now do a Google search of Equifax Arbitration Dispute Address. Again, Equifax arbitration dispute process. And you're going to get a whole different address. Now, I'm going to give y'all one. Equifax is at P.O. Box 105496, Atlanta, Georgia, 40348. We'll be back after a quick break. There's no such thing to practice law. 
It's called a bar card or a British accredited registry card. Um, they take an oath to uphold um, rules to the crown, which is in Britain. So there's no such thing to license. First of all, if you look up Abraham Lincoln, he was a he was a lawyer. He wasn't an attorney. So attorneys might have to be licensed, but there's no such thing as a licensed lawyer. Um, again, it's called a British accredited registry. It's, it's part of a membership. Um, it's like a fraternity, like the Freemasons or any other private club. <clears throat> community that you'd be part of that you have to show your private membership and this is what they do everybody go to onlyfans.com slash don kalam that's onlyfans.com slash don kalam that's d-o-n-k-i-l-a-m you can subscribe there and get access to don kalam university at don kalam.com you can also follow me on the instagram at d-o-n underscore k-i-l-a-m again that's d-o-n underscore k-i-l-a-m much peace and love So you get three different addresses. You get a different address. So if you're if you're looking for a regular dispute, they got addresses for you. And this is why you never see remedy. Equifax, they got one in Atlanta, Georgia. Experian one in Allen, Texas, P.O. Box 4500, P.O. Box 2000, Chester, Pennsylvania, TransUnion. Now, when you when you when you look up Equifax arbitration dispute address. Because Equifax, what was the Equifax address? It was still Atlanta, but it's P.O. Box 740246. Now, the arbitration is P.O. Box 105496. Totally different address, all right? And they got their own terms of use. But a lot of people don't read them, okay? Let me see if I can pull them up. So, it tells you how to initiate arbitration. Because you got to understand. When 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 you're going to the website, when you're writing these people, you're utilizing their services. So with that being stated, gotta let the watch flick at the wrist real quick. Let y'all know I'm shining right now. I'm shining. Yeah. Now, when you're doing this, and you can opt out of the arbitration, and a lot of people don't understand this. And and when you got agreements with with your car notes, your your mortgages. They have all of this in there as well. And this is why you can't see remedy in court. All right. So right to opt out of this arbitration provision. And it gives you the address. I just helped um, one of my students um, get out of a business loan because I read his arbitration agreements. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all what to do. I'm going to show y'all what to do. Y'all need to read the arbitration agreements. These are on the website, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And basically, this is why you can't get no more than $2,500 if you're the sue You go to court, everything, because you're bound by these arbitration rules. All right? There's, there's places to file the cases. There's different addresses. All right? Um. But the one I want to sh- I'm talking about is the ones that's going to say request for payment of arbitration filing fees, because next we're gonna we're gonna file a um, um, arbitration. I'm gonna show you how to initiate arbitration. So you do the dispute, and even though you're giving them a chance to respond and pay you a fee, you're still gonna you're still gonna initiate arbitration. Now arbitration does cost two hundred dollars unless you want to wait it out and get approved to file it free, I would pay the $200. It's only two of these. Two of these to get 20 of them. Come on now. You know, um, you can get up to, uh, I, I put in each, I, each claim I'm putting in 10,000. This is 13 right here. You know, and that's 10,000 per agency. So you can do a, a simple Google search. I put Experian arbitration address. Boom. 475 Anton Boulevard, Costa, Costa Mesa, California, 92626. That's the notice address. I can't make this up. They're giving you an Allen, Texas address in the public. But when you're looking up the arbitration clause, you're agreeing that you're, if you have any issues, you're going to write to the general counsel. The general counsel, this is a million dollars worth of game right now. You need to sign up on the OnlyFans. If you see this video, I'm live on the OnlyFans right now. Drop a tip because this is that game. 
this is that game right here. Everybody that's um, part of the OnlyFans.com University, you can schedule a half-hour consult for a $100 tip. That's how it works. We'll get you scheduled within the week, all right? We're, we're doing it about a week out right now, all right? But I'm showing you this shit works, man. This this works. Get around those people doing it. Invest in the courses. Invest in the people. Invest in the people doing these things. I, I'm dropping a course on this soon because I'm, I'm going to drop it step by step, but I'm giving it to you step by step right now. Um, now let's go to... Um, and, and, When, when you use TransUnion, it requires that you consent to arbitration of your claims or disputes. You will not have the right to pursue your claim in court or before a judge or jury or to participate in a class action or any other collective or representative proceeding. Other rights than either party would have if that party went to court, including without limitation of rights to conduct discovery or to appeal may be limited or unavailable arbitration. And I'm telling you, this is what's going on with everybody. I need y'all to know this. This is a million dollars worth of game. Let me know if you agree, man. I'm going to know if you agree because you're going to drop a tip on the OnlyFans. And I'm going to know if you agree in the public because you're going to be joining the OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash Don Kalam. That's D-O-N-K-I-L-A-M. And if you don't, you don't feel comfortable joining me on the OnlyFans, the other way to um, support the cause it's by subscribing on Don Kalam on Instagram. That's D-O-N underscore K-I-L-A-M. You can subscribe. So that's that's like, so the top tier is going to be OnlyFans.com slash Don Kalam, and the bottom tier is going to be the Instagram. All right? The Instagram. Just go to the main page on the Instagram and click subscribe. And I believe that's $9.99. The um, OnlyFans is $25. So, yes, this is game right now. I'm showing y'all how to get paid. I'm showing y'all how to get money, you know? And it's so easy. It's so easy. And, uh, but so the second letter, the second letter, the second letter, because you want to do the disputes, all right? And then while you're doing this arbitration process, go ahead and um apply for some stuff and get denied because this is proof. This is proof that this stuff, that this stuff is messing up your life. All right. They're, they're inaccuracies. All right. They're inaccuracies, the way they're doing things. So the arbitrator's decision shall become final and binding after 30 days unless a party to the arbitration takes an appeal from the decision by making a written request to that triple A. And that's what it is. I'm gonna get to that. All right. I'm about to get to the triple A process. Um, so this is TransUnion. It's right in our arbitration clause. It's going to show you, you, you're to reach out to the, so let's see what the address was where they tell you to dispute. TransUnion tells you Chester, Pennsylvania, but the real address is in Chicago, Illinois. All right. <laughs> TransUnion LLC, 555 West Adams, Chicago, Illinois, 60661. I can't make this up. You would write to the law department. The other two companies, you write to the general counsel. And this is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you a million dollars worth of game. So how to opt out. As millions of consumers are considering these credit agencies' offers of credit monitoring and other services, concerns over the terms and services have been raised. Although they have not had enough Victims taking their amigo offers um, to 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 court and stuff. So when you take these offers, it waives your legal rights. I need you to understand when you take these offers. When you take these offers, you're dealing with these people. You're waiving your legal rights. So unfortunately, so same way with credit karma. You know, when you're checking your credit score, you're doing things online. So in, unfortunately, in order to take an offer, you must agree to their terms of services. And they have over 14,000 words of terms of services in a clause which states if you accept their offer, you waive your legal rights to sue them for the breach of security. The term also bars you from joining the class action lawsuits. The only options available to you are arbitration and small claims courts, which will limit your damages to as little as 2,500 or at most 15,000, depending on your state. You must pursue your claims in arbitration or small claims court. 
Fortunately, also buried in the terms of services is how to opt out of the arbitration clauses. So by opting out, you preserve your rights to sue them in court or to join a class action lawsuit. You may also retain the option to go on after these credit agencies in arbitration or small claims. If either of those are better for you, all right? To opt out, you must send um, the agencies um, a letter with, with an address. You can do this nut pro tunk, so it doesn't matter what the time or date is, 30 days, none of that. We don't have to abide by those things. You can look up the word nut pro tunk now for then. It's like it's retroactive beginning of time, all right? Um, and that's what it is. And I can help you do a letter to opt out, all of that. You always want to opt out. All right. You always want to opt out and do these letters certified mail. So I'm I just I have a bunch of the um clauses. I've been looking up uh, the arbitration clauses, dispute resolution by binding arbitration. So you only get resolutions by binding arbitration. And we don't do anything pro se. I see somebody saying pro se. It's called sui juris. To write the contract, pro se puts you under their jurisdiction. But I'm not going to get deep on legal and legalities today. But I just want y'all to get the process started. Um, So I believe it's called, yes. So you go to ADR.org. ADR.org. This is the American Arbitration Association. This is the AAA they use. This is where the insurance is, and this is how you file a case, and you start their claim. I do this right away. I do this right away. So you do the dispute letter. It doesn't matter how it comes back. Um, I got some court cases and all of that, too. So let me see if I can get a form out. I want you, I want to go over the form real quick. So... It's called Consumer Arbitration. Let me go to all forms. Here we go. Consumer Demand for Arbitration Form. This is the name of the form. Consumer. A demand for arbitration, consumer arbitration. Demand for arbit arbitration, consumer arbitration rules. American arbitration. So you just complete, complete this form. Which party is sending in the following documents? I filled this out already, too. Briefly explain the dispute. Specify the amount of money in dispute. I always put 10000 State any relief you are seeking. I put arbitration costs because they have to pay back. It costs 200 but they have to pay it back. Um, and other, I put emotional distress, okay? Now, let me, I'm going to give you the cover letter that goes with this. Because this is what I'm sending to the arbitration department. And with, within, within the letter of the arbitration department, there's going to be an agreement for failure to remove inaccuracies. An arbitration agreement for, for failure to remove inaccuracies from the credit report. Because you got to understand, when you're in, in arbitration, you're doing contracts, the agreements you can re you can renegotiate the terms and agreements and you always redo them. They're pretty much stuck to theirs, but you you're the liar person, so you can change yours. So I am writing to address a matter of great significance concerning the inaccurate the, the inaccurate information presented on my consumer credit report. This incorrect data has resulted in significant hardships for my family, leading to the denial of credit. And, and challenges in securing essential resources for our well-being. I'm deeply concerned and disappointed by the inaccurate information made available to the public through my consumer credit report. These inaccuracies have directly resulted in the denial of credit, which has had a domino effect on our ability to obtain vital resources such as a car for employment and a stable residence. Consequently, my family has been left with no choice but to move from place to place, causing substantial stress and instability in our lives. The denial of credit directly stemming from the inaccurate information on my credit report has had a profound impact on our financial stability. Without reliable transportation, my employment opportunities have been severely limited, impeding my ability to provide for my family. 
Moreover, the ability to secure permanent residence has compounded our difficulties as finding suitable housing options has become increasingly challenging. Given the gravity of the situation and immense hardship we have endured, I am compelled to demand fair compensation and resolution for the damages suffered. I kindly request that you promptly rectify the inaccuracies on my credit report and provide written confirmation of the corrections made. Written confirmation of the corrections made. Written confirmation of the corrections made. Considering the distress caused by denial of credit, I'm seeking compensation in the amount of 10000 to address the financial losses and emotional distresses experienced by my family. The amount is reflected of the hardships endured, the resulting ex expenses incurred, and the detrimental impact on our overall quality of life. I firmly believe in the principles of fairness and accountability, and I trust that you will treat this matter with the seriousness it, it deserves. I urge you to initiate the necessary investigation and corrective actions without delay to rectify the inaccuracies on my credit report. Failure to address this matter within a reasonable time frame may um, necessitate legal recourse through arbitration or other available means as per the applicable law. I respect, respectfully request a written response within 30 days from the day of this letter acknowledging the receipt of my complaint and outlining the actions being taken to rectify the inaccuracies on my credit report. Additionally, please provide details regarding the compensation being offered to remedy the damages caused by these inaccuracies. Thank you for this immediate attention. Arbitration agreement for failure to remove inaccuracies for the credit agreement. Straight arbitration agreement. You create your own arbitration agreement. You know, um, I the, you don't want to talk too much about the law, but I did put laws of nature, common law, and with respect to the GAAP, the General Accepted and Accounting Principles. All right, because these are all accounts. And that's it. Really, it's, it's a six-page letter because the font's big. But it's it's really not much at all. Shows how to have an arbitration hearing. Now, here's the thing. Because this shit's going to cost them a lot of money. At the end of the day, it's going to cost them anywhere between. So, you're going to tell them. Because you have a right when you're doing this. It's going to cost you 200 It's going to cost you 200 right? And you're going to get this. This is what you're going to get back. So, check this out. You're going to say. You want to have a meeting with them in person. You want to have a meeting with them in person. It's your right to request a meeting with them in person to have the hearing and um, a location near you. So it's going to cost them to pay their attorney. It costs them the it costs them two thousand dollars just to have their attorney respond to these arbitrations. I'm gonna say it again. It costs them two thousand dollars just for them to have their attorney respond to these arbitrations. Because they have to have a legal department respond. Then it's going to cost anywhere between three to five thousand dollars to to get the attorney to show up for a half hour meeting wherever you're at. Could cost more. Anywhere just to settle this right away, it's going to cost them anywhere between eight and twelve thousand dollars. So if you're shooting for those amounts, and we know some people do twenty thousand, they're going to settle for that. You know, I had I settled for one for like forty two hundred. I sell those for another one for like three thousand, one for twelve hundred. It's easy. It's easy. Do your thing. Work the system. It works if you work it. It's the arbitration. Learn how to opt out. If you want to opt out, you you had no knowledge, so it's fraud, you know. Um, and there's a lot of different things, man. But sui juris, don't go in there pro se, sui juris. But don't get too caught up on the law. It's just about starting the process. They'll, they will pay you to go away. Now, this is a million dollars worth of game right here, man. It's a million dollars worth of game. Um, every inaccuracy is a thousand dollars, anyways. Any any inaccuracy, they put a that's in their codes and statutes. It says, um, yes, 90% of companies will always settle before court. And this is how you start the process, but you have to you have to do it. You're already opt in through the arbitration clauses. So you have to learn how to work that system. Learn how to work that system correctly. You know, through the arbitration alone, they limit your your they limit you to getting fifteen thousand dollars anyways. So you might as well get that. And that's per claim. That's per claim. You have a claim for every inaccuracy, to be honest with you. But I just put them in each bundles, man. And you can just keep doing this over and over and over again. You know, that's the that's the credit bureau play, man. So, 
it works if you work it. With that, I'm out. Tap in and tune in. It's your boy, Don Kalan. Remember, prosperity is your divine birthright. Everybody, um, that's all my OnlyFans anyways, they got access to the courses that talk about these things. Um, they got my login info. So they got the webinars. They got access to the ebooks. But I got some on the, on the way as well, man. But with that, I'm out. Much peace and love. Much peace and love. Much peace and love. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of commerce and build an empire that lasts for generations? Look no further. Introducing Million Dollars Worth of Game by Don Kalam, your official guide to the private and public side of commerce. In this groundbreaking book, Don Kalam reveals the strategies and insider knowledge you need to create and protect your wealth. Learn how to navigate the intricate world of commerce, master the art of building an empire, and secure a lasting legacy for your family. Get your hands on million dollars worth of game today and embark on a transformative journey toward financial abundance. Don't miss out on the opportunity to build your empire and secure a prosperous future for generations to come. Get ready to conquer the world of commerce. Million Dollars Worth of Game by Don Kalam, your ultimate guide to building an empire and leaving a legacy. Million Dollars Worth of Game by Don Kalam. Available now. Get your copy and start your journey to generational wealth.